Thomson Hospital, Kota Damansara. Which vaccine is given at TH Kelly Vaccine Center? The vaccine that we are giving are the ones under the National COVID-19 Immunization Program. At present, we will be giving the vaccine by Sinovac called CoronaVac. The vaccine brand has obtained approval from the National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency and are safe and efficacious to be used in Malaysia. Is CoronaVac by Sinovac safe? Yes! All COVID-19 vaccine which has been approved by the National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency are safe for use. This governing body in Malaysia has stringently evaluated the vaccine based on available scientific data and the Drug Control Authority has granted approval for the use here. Only vaccine that meet safety, quality and efficacy standards are successfully registered for use. How many doses are required and what are the timing between doses? For CoronaVac, two doses are required to achieve full immunity and they are given three weeks apart. Who should not get this vaccine? At the moment, the vaccine is not approved yet for individuals below 18 years of age. It is also not recommended for people who are allergic to the, any of the ingredients of the vaccine or those who have severe neurological condition and uncontrolled chronic condition. If there are any concerns of the condition prior to your vaccination, we recommend that you speak to your doctor to find out if you are a suitable candidate. Hi, my name is Connie. I'm a pharmacist from Thomson Hospital, Kota Damansara. What about women who are pregnant or breastfeeding? CoronaVac is suitable for individuals who are between 14 to 33 weeks pregnant. While for those who are breastfeeding, rest assured that the vaccine is also safe to be taken without harm to the baby. Do speak to your doctor should you have any concerns with regards to vaccination during the course of your pregnancy. Next, what are some of the side effects of this vaccine? The common side effects include injection site pain, tiredness, headache, muscle ache, nausea, diarrhea, or appetite loss. In rare cases, some people might experience vomiting, fever, dizziness, hypersensitivity, or drowsiness. These effects are mild and should subside in a few days. Lastly, what else should I do after receiving the vaccine? After receiving the vaccine, you may experience some side effects that will pass in a few days. You may also take some over-the-counter medications to reduce discomfort. It is important for us to remember that our body needs time to build protection after we are vaccinated. Therefore, we should all still continue to abide by the country's SOPs to maintain physical distance, wear our masks in the public area, and avoid the three C's which are confined spaces, crowded area, and close conversation.